Democracy, yes, he is. Thank you to the organisers so much for the opportunity to speak today and to march with you. I'm very, very proud to be here today on behalf of the Greens and the Western Australian community generally to stand with you in support of your families and the people in Burma. A peaceful and non-violent revolution has at last begun in your country and there is no going back because the events of the last month have permanently changed the internal situation in Burma. The monks have taken a stand and in attacking them openly the military regime has sealed its downfall. The monks who are leading this uprising and their supporters have now placed themselves at enormous risk. The last great expression of democracy in Burma was crushed in 1988 by the same dictatorship and the world stood by and did very little of practical help. When the military closed the borders and cut the telephone lines, it seemed as though the curtains had been drawn and the military was left to act with impunity. And things are different this time. When the large-scale demonstrations began a fortnight ago, a thousand citizen journalists beamed the images to the rest of the world. Bloggers were adding moment-by-moment -moment updates to newswires and the military had lost control of the story. Last week, after the damage had been done, the military shut down the country's internet service providers. And this quote comes from a newspaper article quoting a source inside Burma who said, We have done enough. We can no longer move around. It is over to you. We cannot do anything anymore. We are down. The whole world is watching and we know what is going on there. And this knowledge means that we have no choice but to act. Governments from Tokyo to Washington have condemned the Burmese military. The United Nations Security Council meets tonight to hear from its envoy who recently visited the country. But talk is not enough. Even as governments around the world are expressing their concern, they turn a blind eye to the corporations who continue to profit even today from Burma's rich timber, mineral and oil and gas resources. Companies like Chevron, Marabini, Suzuki and a whole host of tourism companies. Perth's own Clough Group, which has ties to the Liberal Party, has financed a company called Twinsa Oil, which signed an oil and gas deal with the Burmese regime last November. Clough are just over the road. That's them there with a the yellow sign on the road. They're right there. So directly after this rally, a number of us are hand delivering a letter to the Clough Group, demanding that they suspend their operations there until the rightful democratic government of Burma has been restored. One country, of course, deserves special mention. The Vice President of the European Parliament is lobbying to ensure that all EU company, uh, countries boycott the Beijing Olympics in China about this time next year. So I'll quote from his statement, the consensus around the European Parliament is that China is the key. China is the puppet master of Burma. The Olympics is the only real lever we have to make China act. And China, of course, is Bur Burma's largest trading partner. They have supported and sheltered the military regime in Burma. There is a lot we can do in Australia to put pressure on the government of China to uphold their role as citizens of the world. Because this is not Burma's problem. This is planet Earth's problem. Every one of us here now has an opportunity to ask how we can help finish what the monks and the students and their supporters and your families and you have begun. The next days and weeks are absolutely crucial. We are with you, we will stand with you, and we will march with you until you have restored democracy to your country. Thank you.